Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Today is our first video of 2018 and I want to make sure that we start with the right foot. And by that I mean dream foot. So I want to give you a tip that will allow you to connect your iPad to your computer without any cables. You'll be able to send your cords via Bluetooth into main stage without any connections and zero latency. So let's get started. So let me give you a little scenario. Maybe you own a MIDI controller that needs to be physically connected to your iPad. It's not Bluetooth. Then you're trying to use maybe your favorite main stage sound library with the app and you can't because the only port that you could use to connect into your computer, it's being used by your MIDI controller. If we use Bluetooth to send the cords to main stage, we don't have a need to use any cables and you'll be able to connect your MIDI controller into your iPad. So in order to accomplish this, we need a few things. First, let's download the MIDI meter app for your iPad. Next, we're going to download the MIDI LE USB drive into our computers. Remember, that's a very important step. The app needs to be installed on your iPad and on your computer. And finally, we're going to connect our MIDI controller into our iPad. So let's go into the computer so that we can see how this works. So the first thing we're going to do is to connect our iPad into our computer. So let's make sure the Bluetooth is enabled on both devices. Next, we're going to open the MIDI meter app. Let's go into the advertise menu, advertise your iPad. Next, we're going to open the MIDI LE USB driver. That's going to open right up here. We're going to click on Bluetooth. And if the next menu doesn't open, click on it again and hit the settings. Once the Bluetooth configuration window comes up, make sure you hit advertise. Let's go back into the iPad Let's click on the devices menu. And when you see your MacBook Pro there, click so that you can connect it. Let's open DreamFoot. Let's connect our MIDI controller. Let's go to settings. And under MIDI in, we're going to select the Looptimus MIDI controller. Under MIDI out, you will see that now your MacBook Pro shows up. Select that as your out so that your iPad can successfully send cords via Bluetooth into your computer. Hit settings again, go into MIDI map, and let's map a few parameters. I want to map the play, the up, the down arrow, and the sustain. Click MIDI map again. Now let's go into the computer and let's open main stage. I have already loaded one of my favorite libraries, which is the Sunday Keys library. Let's expand the window. Let's go into layout, click on the actual piano and make sure that on your MIDI port, your iPad is selected. In this case, mine will be Bluetooth Felipe's iPad. Let's go back into edit, performance. I've already mapped my MIDI controller into DreamFoot and DreamFoot is already connected to send chords via Bluetooth into main stage. So I'm going to enable sustain and I'm going to press play. All right guys, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe. I hope this tip was helpful to you. And remember, if you have any questions or any comments, put them right below and we'll make sure we answer them on time. And if it's something complex, we'll make a video about it or another tutorial. So I hope you guys have a great start of 2018 and I'll see you in the next video.